All right, so this is the abbreviated version of the parallax tutorial for people who kind of know the way around Blender already. So what I've done here in the scene is like everything in the scene is just sort of flat in 2D here. Let me just maximize this window so you can see what's going on. Here's my camera that I've just basically animated kind of pushing through the scene. And all of this stuff is stuff that I've brought in over here in, from Photoshop. I've just taken some photographs. I've made them on, put them onto a, um, a layer so that I can uh, take out the background, various ways that you can do that magic wand tool selections, all kinds of things that you can do to ping, pull things out of the background. And then I've saved these as PNGs. You can also use TIFFs, especially if you're using a mouse um, back in the Blender here. And then you add these objects to your scene with the, the uh, images as planes over here. So if I come over here to my world origin, I'm going to shift A and I'm going to come down here to image and images as planes. Now remember, if you don't have that, that's up under edit and preferences. And then you just want to search for images. You don't even need to restart. It's right there. I'm going to close that out. And I'm going to say Shift A. And then I'm going to come down here and say uh, Images as Planes. Boom, there it is. And then I can come into my new folder here. And maybe I'll add my, my uh, well, here, do, we'll do uh, Big Trees. There we go. And then you can see that it brings in the trees. Usually they're fairly small, even though it says Big Trees. I'm going to hit S to scale. Maybe I'll make that three times bigger. There you go. Actually, I don't think I even used this one in the in the scene here, or maybe it's back over there, I don't know. Um, but so here now I have, and you can see it's casting shadows, it's doing all kinds of fun things, and it's got uh, the transparency from that alpha channel. Although be aware that when you bring that in, you do wanna come over here to the material properties, scroll down over here, because it's gonna bring this thing as an alpha blend uh, by default. Usually we want alpha clipped or alpha hashed. You're gonna want alpha blend if it's like a, a gauzy transparent kind of thing, but if you want these like trees to look solid and not look kind of like semi-transparent, come over here and just shift this over to alpha clipped. And you can see it got rid of some of that fringy outside edges there that was kind of a, a translucent effect there. So that, that fixes that weird translucent problem and it also makes it you know nice and solid here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. But then you can just kind of push those around in the scene. Remember how to animate a camera or anything else in the scene. I'm gonna grab the camera. I've got my keyframes up over here. I'm gonna move to a spot where I don't have a keyframe. So if I decide my, I wanted the camera to suddenly kind of like turn in a weird way right here, I could say R and I'm just gonna tip the camera like that way over there. And then I'm gonna hit I to insert a, a keyframe and I'm gonna do location and rotation on there. Great. So now if I scrub back and through here, you can see the camera starts to like do this banking shot. Actually, that looks kind of cool. You know, I might even keep that in there. And it sort of added that kind of like whoosh, sort of banking shot into the end of it. You'll notice even at the end, I have these last two keyframes so that it doesn't kind of come to a crashing halt. I do this very slight bank, very slight dutching of that image there, just so that the as the shot holds that last little scene, it doesn't feel like it's frozen. And then of course, the clouds in the background are being animated in the exact same way. That's just the clouds on a plane. And then I've just got the two keyframes on it. I've got, you know, where the clouds start over here, and then I've got where the clouds stop. So I just had the clouds passing in front of the moon. The one thing that's going on here down here, that is the fog. That's actually an image of this planes as well. Let me just see if I can grab that in here. I'll just show you on the screen really fast. So you want to set that up. If you want to, is that it right there? I think that's it. Uh, ground fog. Yeah, that's something I grabbed from Ian Hubert, uh, but you can bring in any kind of video. Um, if you want this like transparent video, you want to do this. Let me come over here to the, uh, well, I'll do it over here so you've got some decent room we'll go to shader editor and this is how you want to set up a video let me just maximize that so here's the video playing in it knows that it's a movie there's the frames but you want to run it through a mix shader uh, with a translucent and a transparent and then the factor for that is your video coming in through there and then you plug that into the surface of the material output that's how you get things like fog or steam or clouds or where things that are kind of transparent you don't need these you can just take the video and plug it right in if you want a picture of like uh, a, you know train tracks outside the window or whatever you want something kind of like on the other side of a, a window or, or something that's a solid thing that you don't need any kind of transparency on you can plug that right in just like just exactly like a um, the regular images as planes and it'll just be fine so that's the way that you get those kind of effects there otherwise that's pretty much it it's a pretty straightforward process to get the camera animated through this little parallax uh, playground here and then these are all just things the fence I brought in the, these little grassy things I think I even painted those from scratch you know you can bring in your own artwork your own characters you know drop them on a transparent background and then you've got some uh, a cool parallax effect that you can do with very little effort you can do the same thing in Photoshop and 
uh, uh, After Effects, and they're all much more complicated. I think Blender is by far the, the fastest and the most uh, fluid way of doing it. You can just, it's really easy to jump in and make changes uh, and just kind of grab grab a plane and kind of scooch around a little bit until you kind of like what's happening in there. Um, so I think I covered everything. If there's anything that you didn't understand from this one, you might want to watch the longer one. Uh, and uh, still quite got questions, just ask in class.